Now we're going to talk about specific um, organizations of um, circuits and resistors. Specifically, this one is going to be two resistors in series. Two resistors in series will look like this. We'll have our battery. We will have one resistor, and then we'll have our second resistor. So we have the terminal voltage across the battery, we have resistance one, and we have resistance two. Again, we take our anthropomorphic charge, we place it right here, we talk to our anthropomorphic charge, we ask it questions. Anthropomorphic charge! Which direction are you going to go at your present location? Anthropomorphic charge to the right. Okay, anthropomorphic charge, are you going to go through resistor one? Do you have any choice in the matter? No. Anthropomorphic charge, are you going to go through resistor two? No. Are you going to have any choice through the matter? No. No. So notice, you, the anthropomorphic charge, all of the charges are going to go through resistor one, they're also going to go through resistor two, and anthropomorphic charge, are you going to go through the battery? Any choice, Lily? No. Therefore what? Every charge is going to go through resistor one, going to go through resistor two, and is going to go through the battery. Therefore, what must be true in this circuit? The current is the The current is the same throughout the circuit. In other words, the current delivered by the battery is equal to the current through resistor one, which is equal to the current through resistor two. By definition, when you have resistors in series, that is going to be true. Good. That is the current. Now, let's say that we have an electric potential difference of 12 volts. Uh, and this is, remember, our negative and our positive. So let's say this one's at 0 volts, and this one, bless you, is at 12 volts. If this lower terminal, if this uh, is at 0 volts, what then, Duval, is the potential at this point going to be? If it's 0 volts here, what's the potential at this point going to be? Yeah. It's also going to be at zero volts. Duval, what about right here? Zero. Zero volts. Remember, the reason for that is because wires have zero resistance. So there's going to be a le zero electric potential difference change from as we move along wires that have zero resistance. What about the electric potential Danaher at this point right here? What's the electric potential going to be there? 12 volts. And what about here? 12 volts. Now, we do not know the electric potential at this point. We just don't know it, given the information here. However, I can draw this, which identifies this is the electric potential difference across resistor 1. And this is the electric potential difference across resistor 2. Therefore, we do know something about the relationship between the electric potential difference across the battery, the electric potential difference across resistors 1 and 2. What is that relationship that we know? Then, are they equal? Uh, the electric potential differences are not necessarily equal. No, we do not know that they are equal. That's okay. Um, Rikui. They add up to 12. Notice the electric potential difference across resistor 1 plus the electric potential difference across resistor 2 is going to be 12 volts, which is the same as the electric potential difference across the battery. So here we could say the electric potential difference across the battery is equal to the electric potential difference across resistor 1 plus the electric potential difference across resistor 2. I should draw this a little bit bigger and see. Electric potential difference across the battery is 12 volts. Okay, we have that equation. Now, these are true whenever you have resistors in series. The currents are going to be the same, and the electric potential differences are going to add. We also have the equation for electric potential difference, which is equal to current times resistance. So we can substitute in for this equation current times resistance for every electric potential difference. So for the electric potential difference across the battery, we're going to substitute in the current across the battery, which is the terminal current, the current at the terminals, times the resistance. Now, this is going to be the resistance of the load, or R sub EQ, which stands for the equivalent resistance. 
REQ, the equivalent resistance of the load. Okay, times, and that's going to be equal to the electric potential difference across resistor 1, which is going to be equal to the current across resistor 1 times the resistance of resistor 1, plus the current across resistor 2 times the resistance of resistor 2. Just multiple, or substituting in current times resistance for each of our electric potential differences. It's okay, how are your eyes? Um, are they, they dilated? Oh yeah. Oh, good <laughs> just luck. Just put a bunch of crap in my eyes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, Vic, low? Uh, everybody brought high to the party. Everyone brought I. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Everyone brought current to the party. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. <laughs> we have everyone brought current to the party, therefore we could be equitable. You could take current from everyone. Now notice, I understand that they all have different subscripts, but we already started by saying that the current through the battery, the terminal current, the current through resistor one, and the current through resistor two are all the same. Therefore, the equivalent resistance in this particular case is equal to the resistance one plus resistance two. So, this means the resistance when you are in series, when you have resistors in series, is going to be equal to resistor 1 plus resistor 2 plus however many resistors we happen to have in series. So that is our box equation for resistors in series. And please remember, for resistors in series, that the currents are going to be the same and the electric potential differences This is the box equation, this piece of information you need to remember. That is something that needs to be in your brain. And we just went through the reasons why that is true, which makes it easy to remember.